This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have some great tools to show you guys today. Let's take a look at HCI Tool and GAT Tool. HCI Tool stands for Host Controller Interface Tool and is used for detecting and connecting to peripheral devices. It can also show additional information advertised by the device. This tool is written in C and is a part of the BlueZ project. HCI Tool was developed by Maxim Kranziansky and Marcel Holtman. GAT Tool is a generic attribute tool. It can discover, read, and write characteristics to accessible devices which support GAT standard. This tool is written in C and is also part of the BlueZ project. GAT tool was also developed by Marcel Holtman, who is a principal engineer at Intel. Now, you're probably wondering how to use these tools. Well, take a look at this great example. In this demo, we are going to show an attack on a BLE smart bulb. We are going to change the color of the smart bulb using HCI tool and GAT tool. Luckily, we only need a standard Bluetooth adapter with BLE support to do this. So, we can observe that our Bluetooth adapter is available. By using HCI tool, we can discover classic Bluetooth and BLE devices in the vicinity. In this case, the device of interest is a smart bulb with the Bluetooth name CNLIGH. We can use Ubertooth BTLE utility to view advertisements made by this device. Bluetooth devices jump channels while transferring data. Therefore, we need to jump to the same channel at the same time and then capture the packets. We can do that by using Ubertooth BTLE utility. Also, to analyze the communication packets properly, the tool will write all packets to a FIFO where they can be read by Wireshark. We can observe advertising packets in Wireshark, but after a while, we can also observe packets of Bluetooth attribute protocol. These packets are used by a device connected to the smart bulb to change characteristics of the device. Essentially, these are commands to perform tasks. If we check one of the packets, we can observe that it is a write request for a specific handle ID with a write value. In this case, we already know the meaning of this value. It is set to the color of the bulb to blue and to keep the bulb on. We will modify this value to set the color to red by changing the six hex values to the code of red. Then, we will connect to the bulb with GAT tool by using Smart Bulb's MAC address and send our crafted value in the write request. We can observe that the color of the bulb changes from blue to red. In this manner, these tools can be used to pen test Bluetooth conventional and low energy devices. It also reminds us how insecure current IoT tools are and highlights the need for more people in the security industry. Well, that's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.